Welcome to Electra Online. Here we actually have a problem that can be solved, even read and solved in less than three minutes. If we take a good look at the circuit that they're presenting here, notice it's a circuit with capacitors. We have two uh, voltages, we have two uh, voltage sources, one that's six volts, one that's two volts. And they give us the values for the capacitors. C1 is 12 microfarads, C2 and, C, uh, and C3 are four microfarads, C4 and C5 are two microfarads. And they want to know the charge stored in C3. So we need to realize that by definition, the capacitance of a capacitor is equal to the ratio of the charge collected on the plates divided by the voltage across them which means that we can then calculate for the charge on the capacitor by simply multiplying the capacitance times the voltage across the capacitor. Since, and we're dealing with C3 here, since we're given the capacitance of C3, it's right here, 4 microfarads, we now need to know the potential difference. And here's the key. You look at this circuit, it looks kind of complicated, but let's say that we attach a ground right here, just for reference. It doesn't matter what the voltage is here. We know that the voltage here is 2 volts higher than here, here and the voltage here is 6 volts higher than here. So if we just put a ground there, we then put the bottom of the circuit at 0 volts, which means here this is at 2 volts and over here this is at 6 volts. Now, notice that this whole thing right here, there's no components anywhere in between that is considered to be the very same node. That is all one node, the same node. Which means if this is a 2 volts, this entire area right here in the circuit is a 2 volts. Which means over here, this is at 2 volts as well. And down here, this is at 0 volts. So now you can see that across that capacitor, C3, the voltage difference is 2 volts. And therefore, we can then say that this is equal to 4 microfarads, 4 microfarads times 2 volts, and so this would be equal to 8 microcoulombs. And since we need two decimal places, we probably want to write as 800 microcoulombs, and that is what N is equal to, or C3, I, I guess I, I don't have an N here, so 8 microcoulombs is the charge on capacitor 3. And that's how it's done, very quickly. The only thing is, you just have to realize that this whole thing at the bottom is at the same voltage, just put a reference voltage on it, zero volts, makes it easy. And this is two volts higher, this is six volts higher. You don't really care what happens here, you just realize that this is all the same node, so the voltage is across here is all the same. That means you have two volts there, zero volts here, and that would then be the voltage difference across capacitor three. And that is how it's done. How much time did that take? 3.10. Hey, three minutes. <laughs> we did.